Tonight, a growing city in Southeast Asia, what's all the hype and what it can mean for you. The Wine Country Distillery Festival returns after two years. Find out where and when. And finally, more on SEO for those of you who don't know. This is DMS English News with Oren Andrade. A report by the Inside Asia magazine blog has identified the port city of Busan, South Korea as comparable to destinations in Europe. Their report is a crafty alliteration of B for Busan. One professional uses Busan as a hub to visit other Southeast Asian countries. Then for six months out of the year, she goes back home to work as a registered nurse. The Korean Herald says Busan is one of the most treasured sites for renowned television and film directors and content creators. The beaches are a main attraction. Handy Beach is an urban beach in Busan, South Korea. Named after 9th century Sheila scholar and poet Che Chi Wan, Handae is one of the country's most famous and popular beaches. The beach is busy year-round and various festivals are held there throughout the year. One popular beach event is hosted by the Polar Bear Club, where participants bathe in near-freezing water. The plunge has taken place annually in Handae since 1988. Handae is also closely associated with cinema. It partly hosts the Busan International Film Festival and was featured prominently in the 2009 disaster film called Tidal Wave. Popular sites near the beach include Dongbek Som at its west end, which is a popular fishing area, and at the east is Oryok Do, featuring a group of small inlets considered a symbol of Busan. The neighborhood surrounding Hande is home to most of Busan's expatriate population. Due to its fame, Hande is one of the most expensive areas in South Korea and the most expensive outside of the Seoul capital area. This has led to numerous urban development projects near the beach and also nearby Marine City. Hande Beach includes skyscrapers such as the Dusan, Weave the Zenith, and Hande LCT the Sharp. Bargains and beauty are interwoven among the many features of Busan. And the bites? Busan is famous for pork soup and hangover soup, as it's called. But the dish that's most acceptable to the Western palate and gives you a taste of Korea is called kimchi chim. There you have it. Beach, bustle, bites, bargain, and beauty. Alliterations can be a good thing. Normally, when communicating with others, <laughs> you always avoid alliterations. Are you in the mood for the taste of a Beaujolais? In California, the Distillery Festival opens up for the first time after two years at the Luther Burbank Center for the Arts in Santa Rosa. Where are the participants coming from? Hello, my name is Barbara from Barbara Barb on Instagram, and today we're in the beautiful Sonoma County, Healdsburg area, enjoying a bunch of wine tastings, some food pairings, and it's such a beautiful day already, and I'm so excited to share this with you all. Come along. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> number one stop, Capo Creek, and we just heard the most beautiful story about how they got their wine label. I won't spoil it, you need to come and listen to it for yourself, but all I can say is free Bob. <laughs> free Bob. Free Bob. <laughs>
second one. We are at Lambert Bridge, a very beautiful winery that I've been dying to visit. And I'm super excited to see what they have for us. There's a couple of ways to make Zinfandel, and there's no right way or wrong way. Uh, but Zinfandel notoriously ripens unevenly on, uh, on the cluster. So when you pick a ripe cluster, there's always going to be a few raisins mm -hmm. and there's always going to be some green fruit mm -hmm. that isn't ripe. So we have this amazing piece of high-tech equipment. It's an optical sorter. They're very expensive. And after we de-stem the fruit so that the individual berries are growing, they, they get spread out on a conveyor belt and as they pass, underneath some infrared cameras. Uh, the cameras are programmed to identify overripe fruit and underripe fruit. Okay. And it will fire a, a burst of air at all the bad berries and knock them out of the sort. So the only thing we end up with is just the ripe berries. up here at Lambert Bridge. We've had such an amazing time. So beautiful, such a perfect day. Third and final stop will be Armida Winery. The tasting is our Sauvignon Blanc and this comes from our estate um, which we have two vineyards that we own. Everything else we purchased the grapes for but it's about 10 minutes outside the window in Russian River so we're in Dry Creek Valley right here, but about half a mile where you see those tall pine trees, that's right at the beginning of Russian River. All right, well that's a wrap. We finished here at Armida Winery, and we've had such a great time getting to know the winemakers, super personable. It's been such a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you keep calm and pour on until next time. Cheers. <laughs> Since 1993, our lives are transforming from the card catalog at the library to the internet search engines online. That's right, the progressive tense is purposely used because the search engine we've become accustomed to will also change. Haven't you noticed that your recent searches deliver ad upon ad when you do a query. If you're thinking that your search has already gone to groups and social media, you're right. That's because one of the most used tools on the internet is not what it used to be, says Charlie Warzel, a contributor for the Atlantic newspaper. According to his research, savvy people are adding the word Reddit in their search terms in order to avoid multiple screen lengths of unwanted results. This is where the whole idea of ranking for keywords comes in. People who want to sell you their product try to rank for higher positions with SEO. And the price for your attention is a cost to advertisers either way. What is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and it's the act of getting your website or your video or your whatever listed higher in organic search results. This will result in free traffic eventually ending up on your website. We'll get into that later. Now, what is PPC? PPC includes all forms of search engine paid advertising, which includes Google Ads, YouTube Ads, Reddit, Quora, Facebook ads, etc. The PPC profitability game is all about trying to match and balance and optimize how much you're spending on your ads versus how much you're making from the conversions on those ads. So now that you understand the basics, let's get into the key differences. First, starting with cost. Now, many people consider SEO traffic to be free traffic because it's earned and not paid for. But there's definitely a cost to ranking websites organically, and that's usually in the form of content and backlinks. These things aren't free. PPC, by definition, is pay to play. If you don't pay, you don't get the traffic. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you're making more money than you're spending on the ads, then why not? Now a link to each video included in this broadcast is in the description below. That's it for our news. See you again soon.